So you just bought a brand new light kit from Amazon and you're super excited to start experimenting. You get it out, you shoot a video, and then you look back and the results are a little green. Let's talk about why. Today, you're going to learn about CRI ratings, which is one of the most important things to think about when buying a new light for video. As a victim of the early days of fluorescent and LED video lights, I feel your pain. Even really expensive fixtures used to be notoriously bad for having green or magenta tints that could ruin your video. If you're a victim of this issue and you've already bought a set of lights with bad CRI, let me know down in the comments below and stick around to the end of the video where I'll be sharing with you a few ways that you can help resolve this issue. And if you haven't already, now's a great time to hit subscribe and smash that notification bell so you never miss valuable tips just like this. So what is CRI? Well, CRI stands for Color Rendering Index, and it's a scale that measures how accurately different light sources reveal colors, with zero being the worst and 100 being perfectly accurate. At the moment, the only light sources that have a rating of 100 are the sun and tungsten halogen or incandescent globes, both of which give rich, vibrant colors. On the other hand, Light sources like street lamps have a terrible CRI and make most things look plain awful. The further you get from a perfect 100 rating, the further a light source will drift towards certain hues, typically green and magenta, and as a result, the worse a light source will look on camera. This green or magenta tint is notoriously common in cheaper LED lights or fluorescent lights. You typically start to see these tints on camera when you have lights that are about 90 CRI or below. If you're out shopping for new lights or replacement globes, you'll want to check the technical specifications of that light. Almost every light will have a CRI rating listed. Anything down in the 80s, you don't want to buy. 90 to 95 is good for video and 95 plus is excellent. Anything that doesn't have a CRI rating listed, run away. It's guaranteed to be terrible. The great news is that LED technology has come a long way in the last few years, and affordable high CRI lights have become really accessible. If you're in the market for a new light, a couple of brands to look out for are Aperture, Forza, Nanlite, Godox, and Falcon Eyes. There are other great brands out there that I haven't listed here, but these give you a great place to start. All of these brands have some excellent lights available, but as always, make sure to check the specs and watch a couple of reviews before making a purchase. Lights to avoid are typically those generically branded lights you find on eBay and Amazon. In particular, those ultra cheap fluorescent softbox kits. If it looks too good to be true, it typically is. And they're ultra cheap because they cut corners in a lot of areas. CRI is one of them, electrical safety is another. You have been warned. But what if you already have a light kit and the CRI kind of sucks? Well, here are a few tips to help make the situation a bit better. My first tip is try to avoid mixing those lights with other high CRI light sources. That can be the sun or new lights that you buy in the future. As soon as you mix them together, you will notice the difference immediately. So you're better off using them all on their own or not at all. My second tip is do a quick Google search and learn how to do a custom white balance on your specific camera model. If you're shooting on a mobile, then Filmic Pro is a fantastic app that unlocks not just this feature, but a heap of others as well. I'll put a link to the Filmic Pro app as well as a tutorial on the Filmic Pro channel down in the description below. What this custom white balance does is that it tells the camera exactly what it wants to be pure white and your camera has corrected for any CRI weirdness. Just remember to always change your settings after you are done, otherwise when you go out and shoot in different conditions, you might end up with some weird effects. I hope you found this video useful, and if you did, make sure to smash that like button to let me know, and hit subscribe if you'd like to see more lighting tutorials just like this one. I hope you have a wonderful day, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.